All right, so first thing I want to talk about, first thing I want to talk about is no one's talking about this story, okay? Nobody. There's one story, okay? One, one, one outlet that I could find, okay? It's Metro Entertainment, okay? And I, I'm bringing this up for more of a public service announcement. And this might be happening to you, or it might happen to you, and you'll be like, what the hell happened? I just want to make you sure that you're not the only person this is happening to. This is me not shitting on PlayStation 5 in any way, shape, or form. There's been things happening over the last couple of months where they take certain things away from you. People defend it because they, they love sleeping with their plastic boxes. I'm giving you the information based on this article that I came across uh, over the weekend. I forgot to post it. I posted it this morning in our submitted stories. Okay. The, uh, the PlayStation 5 owners lose access to hundreds of games as a digital purchase wiped from their accounts. Now, this hasn't been updated, so this still is going on. Uh, if there's any updates to it, I'll let you guys know more. It says a strange bug is removing people's games on PlayStation uh, 4 and 5 and Vita, and Sony doesn't have a fix. Okay, it wasn't long ago when PlayStation sparked fan outrage when it did when it said it would remove discovered uh, discovery video content from people's libraries, even though they paid for it. Now PlayStation later backtracked, but similar un, uh, unintentional issues has now come up and random bug that is wiping digital games from people's libraries. Okay, the bug is affecting PlayStation 4 and 5 and PS Vita, and the fans are certainly not happy about it. At least 50 PlayStation owners have reported their digital games are going missing. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, 50, what does that matter? It matters for those 50 people, and if you were one of these people that your whole library got deleted and they couldn't help you and they don't know what the problem is, you would be pissed off too. It said one affected by the bug went on Reddit and explained what's going on and vented their frustration, and they can no longer can access their games. Okay, in the post, he has uh, attracted others with the, same, with the same problem. So for the last month, there has been a bug impacting a relatively small amount of PlayStation Network users, in which all digital licenses, including purchased games and titles added to one library's PlayStation Plus, become un uh, decoupled from your transaction history, which shows the purchase of those things. Okay, so at DSU, uh, DS said there are also, or I should say DSUDS said there is also uh, in their post. The bug wipes games from your account, and it makes it worse. He adds uh, that if you're affected by this bug, you can't re-download the missing games as your PlayStation account won't let you. Because I'm never buying a digital game from PlayStation again. Horrible customer service. Uh, problem terrible practices towards customers replied. DTV. It says another poster pleaded for answers and got lost access over 400 of his games after trying to restore them once the bug hit their account adding. He says, I'm a PlayStation user. Since PlayStation 3 has been an account bug is really bad. Hope Sony and PlayStation give the solution. And if someone knows how to resolve uh, this huge problem, please let us know, uh, GNT0 said. Now, DSUDS became aware of this bug when he tried to launch Helldivers 2, but got an error message. The CE1177773-6, they then tried to restore license, and then the account settings, which wiped their library. Uh, the advice against uh, trying to restore the license as they believe that this is what triggered the bug in the first place. Now, PlayStation has yet to comment on the issue uh, publicly because it's aware of, according to the DSUDS, Metro has also reached out to Sony for comment. Okay, it says another poster has also kept from uh, everyone affected by the bug with almost 50 people reporting the same issue and some of which said started a month ago. Though it doesn't appear to affect most players, the library wiping bug would be a huge problem if Sony is escalated any further. So, here's here's the uh, you know just the info for you guys. If if you find out yourself is if it's happening, this is happening over a month now. Only fifty people are reporting this. Nobody, okay. And and this is what pisses me off a little bit about the media in journalism. Okay, as as me and Sarge have been saying, journalists. Okay, when one when one person talks about something, they all mimic the same thing. When something is an actual problem, they don't report it at all. But if one person on Twitter has a problem with a game, they make seventeen uh, articles about it about someone's unhappy with this in this particular game. There's people. Yes, it's only 50 as of right now, okay? But nobody's writing about this, of the problem of everyone's library being completely, uh, you know, gone. Now, back in December, the Discovery thing happened with PlayStation as well, and people defended it saying, well, it was Discovery and not PlayStation, and other people said there's other games that were coming off Sony, but they were like, no, no, it's not Sony's problem, blah, blah, blah. Here's yet another story, okay, where people's libraries are getting completely wiped out. Say what you want if it's... This is, again, this is not a, I hate Sony, or this is a Microsoft thing. I'm just giving you information. If you're having this issue, or you happen to come across this issue, 
this is what's happening. You're not the only person that this is happening to. But this is some BS, uh, if you ask me. Like, complete library is completely wiped out. Uh, never a good thing. But they haven't they haven't said anything about it to, uh, you know, to say, well, we're working on it. They know it. They said nothing. But yet these people still don't actually have, okay, they still actually don't have a, a, a you know, a solution for this because it's still happening to people that own a PlayStation 5. So there you go. Um, this is just a bigger issue in the life is that when digital games are happening, because all the games are going to become digital at some point, right? A lot of us like to guy the physical copies of the games. We've had this conversation until I blew in the face. Even when you have a physical, even when you have a physical copy, you still don't own the actual game anymore. You're buying a license. Now this is opens up to a bigger conversation, right? Because people always have been saying, well, if if I buy a digital copy and I don't actually own the game, then if PC gamers, if they, you know, pirate the game, is that actually against the law? Well, technically, if you if you don't own the game, when you purchase the game. Then if you download the game by pirating it, then it's actually not stealing it, right? Because technically you don't own it there either. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you one of the people, as of this report on Monday, March 11th, okay? Are you one of the 50 people that had this happen to them where you can't access any of your libraries on PlayStation uh, 4, 5, or PS Vita? Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about this as far as digital? Because... This is happening to Sony right now. This could also happen to Xbox in the future. This could happen to Nintendo. Anybody that has digital stuff, anytime there's a problem like this, you lose access to all of your media. This is a big problem. Robert Jones says, scary stuff. I had a PlayStation 5 green screen last night. What's a green screen? I don't know what that is. What? Negative PlayStation not being reported. You don't say. What's going on on this? Uh, when 30 uh, accidentally answers a question you have, cha-ching. What, what question did you have, Krebsy? What, what was the question that I answered? Silent Warrior says, uh, restore your license. Nah, we could take all of them. Man, I only have three physical games on PlayStation 5 and dozen of digital ones. Sony wiping out the uh, the uh, Foundation libraries as well. Right. They're, they're like merging the one to the other, right? And if you had one, you lose the other type of thing with Crunchyroll, right? Is that what you're talking about, Artemis? If buying isn't owning, then pirate it isn't stealing. That's right, Jones. That's right. All games I'm emulating have uh, on my shelf. Haha, <laughs> I just wanted to upscale resolution or more frames per second. I would like to know the region of those 50 games. Uh, 50. Um, it doesn't say... Let me see. It doesn't say what region. I believe this person that's playing... He's playing in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is the thing he posted... Recommended anyone restore the license? More frustration. Okay, here it says there's um, a fix coming in March, with some people specifically saying March 21st for store US users, as well as AFAIK unsustainability rumors and fixes have already rolled out for the UK and Canada. So it's happening all over the world. It's happening all over the world. All information about the uh, because Sony won't talk about it. And no gaming new out, uh, news outlets are reporting this on either. It says, edit. Thanks to all the people pointing out uh, to me that this is uh, is on me for buying digital. Maybe you're right. I'll buy a fair amount of games physically. Do not all. I also PlayStation Plus, like many other, uh, other people here, and being impacted in the same way. Pretty sure PlayStation Plus is digital only. And they're also indie games. They also can literally only purchase digitals. Uh, well, PlayStation Plus is a little different, right? PlayStation Plus you're, is... A, like, if I stop paying for Game Pass, I don't have access to Game Pass. If I stop paying for PlayStation Plus, I have I, I don't get access to PlayStation Plus, right? But buying the actual games, that's the problem. It says, edit two, at least one user asked for proof, and I thought I shared some of it, so I think it's valuable for people to see that I'm just not making this up. Some added context. See, see I, I love this, right? So this is his post, and in his edit, people are asking, what, well, you got to tell us this is... Because people just don't want to believe it, right? People don't want to believe this is happening. They, Because they want to defend these companies to their death, right? They don't want to believe someone that says this is happening to them. Just, someone just wants to make up shit. Because they, they want to protect Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo or Epic. Whatever it is. Whatever company you're in bed with that they don't give two shits about you. Gotta have proof. Gotta have proof. You don't have proof? Yeah, I have proof. I can't 
access my fucking library. There's my proof, right? <laughs> right? And at three, the amount of people who feel the need to tell me that's what you get for buying digital. Like this is an isolated issue affecting 0.0000%, 1% of the PlayStation user base is some predictable scenario. It's astonishing. This is not a physical versus digital issue. It's a bug. If there was a bug rendering your disk drive useless, then zero chance you're subjected to a parade the digital soapboxers like this. And at four, a few updates for anyone following. For more users are having a uh, the issue fixed, uh, the account restored a month uh, to the day after losing access. Shorten confirmed fix time aware of and confirming the initial Sony offered no compensation. But after being pressed for it, Sony gave them a code for one month of PlayStation Plus Premium. So there you go. There, there's your proof, right? They know it's happening. They're fixing it. And then they didn't give anything in, in you know, to for your inconvenience until they were being pressed. Then Sony was like, ah, you know what? Gesture of goodwill, in my opinion. Right, here you go. Here's a PlayStation Plus premium for one month, right? Because it, it doesn't cost them anything. Go on, Ghost. Some users have been starting uh, to receive more tangible timelines. One told three to four days. Other one told 10 days. Those timelines are far shorter than what it would have been actually been experiencing and hopefully a sign of Sony accelerating the process of addressing this. This makes sense. It probably won't come to a surprise to anyone, but the physical copies of games you've purchased digitally do work normally. I wonder if they would just on the on the chance that they also have some account level block with these games. But I tried last night with the bro with the uh, borrowed physical copy of two of the digital games and both work normally, including DLC of the Gran Turismo 7. So there you go. If you have a physical disc, this is not happening. It's only happening to digital, at least with his testing. Okay. So there you go. I I, I love the fact that. You gotta, I gotta see proof. Just lying. <laughs> didn't happen to me. So it didn't happen. Let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And if you like what we do here, check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.